obviously you talk to me about how mainly you struggle against dive on baptiste right and which bep are you by the way um are you battle tag uh, i'm real yeti oh yeti okay Cool, cool, cool. So that is, I mean, I'm glad, I'm actually glad you, you brought it up because especially in, even in GM Milo, uh, uh, one, the bit, the most important thing when you're playing um, Bap against Dive, or really any support for that matter of fact, not just Baptiste, but any support against Dive, is your mid fight rotations. And for Baptiste specifically, um, extra jumping to high ground, which is actually uh, really important. When I, I had to coach that a few months ago, uh, during, it wasn't a meta, but we struggled a lot, my team struggled a lot against Junker Queen Genji dive comps, and I had to constantly tell my surgeon to consistently jump to high ground with power slide, because the queen can't match you, the Genji is forced to use dash onto you, the tracer can't get onto you, and when we start looking against the enemy comp here, when, you know, maybe they'll swap off to more dive heroes, but if you go to high ground, and especially on this point, I actually had to talk to some other teams about this, but you need to rotate to high ground here. It's basically a must. If you rotate anywhere on open space on this point, you are basically like fodder for their tracer. So I thought I'd put out that preface there because the way you move, the way you move as the fight uh, processes or begins um, as as it maps out is really important. So we'll see how it goes. And and yeah. Okay. So I guess like sometimes I just couldn't get line of sight on a lot of my uh, teammates. Yeah, here. I I will There's say yeah yeah. So I, I mean the comp that you're playing here, I mean Bap isn't obviously ideal to this. It's actually not too dissimilar to what we ran in Overwatch CS just now. Um, but we also wouldn't be running the Baptiste here. But when you are running more immobile heroes with more diver heroes, it is typically on the onus of the more mobile heroes to come to you for healing. Typically, so back in Brigana meta. Um, it was normally the onus of the Tracer or the Echo to come into the Briggs LOS rather than the Brigitte chasing around the DPS most of the time. Um, that isn't to say you can't rotate to them, obviously, um, but don't worry too, too, too much about chasing your, chasing your DPS. Okay. So, like, here, for example, like, even now, so this position is relatively fine for now, but I'd start thinking about n moving to where you moving or thinking about where you're going to move to in the future. Because you can't just stand here the entire time, right? If you stand here the entire time, the trace is going to stage onto you, and she's going to know where you are, and she's going to stage onto you, and she's going to dive you. That is how static positioning works. But if you manage to rotate from here to here, and your Ash should actually be following in suit, or maybe you guys get a, a bit of space, and you're able to rotate to their high ground with your Ash, that's really good. Because it means that their trace is going to be AFK or MIA the entire time. So we'll see how you do it. The positioning is relatively fine for now. Yeah, right, so like you're actually walking into the tracer. Are you and your Ash is making the same mistake too. You're actually going closer into the tracer. Now that's relatively fine if you want to still help your tracer win the duel here. I think that's okay. I mean, in reality, the loser should be the one helping that. But you can still help your tracer from this angle as well while keeping the distance away from their tracer. And still get ready to exo jump onto this high ground or rotate to this high ground over here as the fight progresses. Um, we'll see how it go I see what you'll see how it pans out. Alright, yeah. Look at your doom. Reasonable. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Relatively okay. CD seem fine. Honestly, I think even the lamp on the on the doom vessel was, was reasonable. Um, but yeah. Regional boss was reasonable too. Regional boss that. Yeah, all good. Okay. Yeah, two, so, so far, what happened in that fight was their tracer got out mirrored, so your tracer just mirrored their tracer, which means that uh, you didn't have to end up dealing with their tracer at all. And then, Moira, for some reason, it should really be trying to play like a DPS TikTok playstyle, considering they've got a Baptiste here. But we'll see how it goes. Next fights. Nothing too major so far. Yeah, I never really got dived too much. Mm. This game. Mm. I was pretty comfortable. I wanted to find a game where I was getting dived, but I just haven't had any recently. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, like, even right now, right, like, 
why not just stand up here where you've got a greater LOS, you've got higher gun control, you can still see, you can actually have vision onto your onto your Trace who's fighting the flank here, and you're able to drop down and rotate back main if you absolutely need to, as you're like your 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 your, your, your kite back your kite back path. And again, your Ash is kind of making the same mistake too. So yeah, I again I would I would just be playing high ground here with your Ash. Also, I can judging by your mechanics, are you on console here? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Also, this was like my first game of the day. My my mechanics are a lot better than this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I just noticed by the 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 because I used to be on console for six years. Um, and actually, I, I did add a coach a mid high master Baptiste player during brawl meta about his rotations. And one thing I told him was because on console. The flickering movement, um, you can't just flick, obviously. But like, whenever you have like a wide LOS and you can see, or a wide FOV and you can see everything on your screen, it becomes a lot easier. Your mechan your mechanics become a lot easier because you need to do smaller movements rather than just, you know, having to say you're right here onto your Doomfist, having to constantly swing your crosshair from the middle to the right side. But if you're back here, it's a lot more relaxed. So that is another benefit mm -hmm. of playing a wider angle as well or wide FOV. Um, yeah. Okay. Alright, I mean that tracer just dies, so that's nice. Okay. Damage is good. I think the positioning is okay too. Oh, I think it's fine, fine you stand here. I would argue that standing here is a little bit counterintuitive because you can't see your doom as easily. The cover here isn't amazing, so I think standing here is perfectly fine. No issues with that. Yeah, all good. Doom's going in, you're walking in, all good. Yeah, nothing nothing major here so far. Okay, uh, kill the Ash a little bit there. A little bit behind you. I do not know the Ash is uh, low behind you. Um, I guess not. I guess not, yeah, because like the Ash is... Uh... Which damage? It's like a shot by the tracer here, right? So you can see it on your screen there. Um, actually, she takes some damage from the tracer. Um, they're just one pellet, honestly. It was one pellet, was all you need. And even now, actually, when you hear the tracer shooting your ash, I would actually back up like your ash is doing right now. Um, again, the reason being is because you want maximum distance against the tracer, and you do a kind of scuffed window uh, against the, the the tracer who just walks past it. But the windows are great, right? Because they're just past the window. And obviously, you can rotate backwards, but then you're facing their spawn, which isn't great, and you can't really retreat back. Yeah. Um. So yeah, obviously the player is just to back up here. Maybe like, wh why was that? Did you not? Did you not just realize the the tracer was there, or your ash was low? Yeah, I I think I was. I'm just too far up, so I have to do like these big one eighties. Yeah, yeah. And you can see how stressful it is now, obviously. Um, you're still gonna win this because you got mad advantage, but yeah. Hmm. So yeah, like I'm just wondering what the cause of that is because in this fight now, now they've now got window advantage. You're down with your window. Could have actually died there to be fair against, but like more. I guess, but maybe if you're going against Zimmers, you could certainly die there. Um, your Dumo extends, oh boy. Okay. I mean, now I'd get back. I'd leave, 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 leave. Like, I would not care about your chase that much. I just, I just don't want you to die. Okay. Get up a little bit. Okay. Hopefully, don't install a window here. They got five volts. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna be kind of my worry here, right? It's where you're split off from your Ash. And now, there's this flanking soldier who's going high ground right now and going straight onto your Ash, right? Now, obviously here, I'd want you to kite back with your Ash here, play cover like around here-ish, and then avoid the window, and then you can jump. And ideally, if you had your own window, one thing I told about to do on this map is, again, you can come back here if you've got map control, jump up here, window, and then your window clears the entirety of points, which is really, really, really strong. Um, So, mm -hmm. yeah, but obviously yeah. you're not in a... It's a great position for that. And against better teams, right? So, like, your Ash immediately dies there, right? And that's partially at fault of your Ash, because your Ash shouldn't be on lower ground either. But yeah, like, you could have certainly helped or prevented your Ash from dying there. Um, for sure. Okay. Hey, I mean, you beat here. I mean, yeah. 
So just some slight positional issues from overextending and not having a clear kite or a, or a retreat path, to, and you get split off from your ash, unfortunately. Um, because yeah, obviously you either like, you either kite back in main here and LOS the the window and the visor, or you stand up here initially and you LOS both the window and the visor and you kite back on the stairs. Um, either one would have been fine. Probably the last one to be fair, but yeah. I would have started on point. Yeah, just down point there. Okay. There's some slight positional issues. That one was mainly uh, a pathing path or a kite path one. Let's see how these fights go. Okay. All good. There's no re. I wouldn't. Yeah, I just don't. Why did you. And obviously, I know why you did it. Because your ash was low, right? I didn't know if she was getting actively pressured. Exactly, or not. yeah. I she was. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I just threw it because I'm like, my was not risk it. Because you're worried of it, yeah. But that, I, 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 I completely get that, to be fair. Um, but the, the, the issue, I mean, obviously, you forced Trace of Recall here, right? So you know she hasn't got Re here. You know she's also a fair amount of distance away from, from the Ash. And you can't really see how far the enemy team are here. And there's also a pillar that the Ash has cover for. So yeah, just a little, maybe even a slight bit of mechanics, you can splash from healing earlier. Um, but yeah. Hopefully you don't need that lamp earlier. Maybe, yeah, so like, for example here, right, if the tracer was better and just like stuck the honor, you need lamp for that, right? So, unfortunately, fortunately for you, she doesn't stick. Okay. The ash feed, oh, so the tracer feeds. Yeah, right, so this, this is just really small, but it's just kind of usage here, right? Yeah, you don't need to be yeah, swinging this wide, right? You're directly in the middle. Yeah. So your ash makes the same. Yeah, your ash keeps taking the same positional six as, as you. To be fair, but you don't need to be swinging this wide, right? Just base up the hook, and then you can actually walk when your doom is that going in. When your doom's going in, he's, everyone's going to be looking at him, which allows you and your ash to actually walk and take a deeper angle. Um, but yeah, so you and your ash are making, making the same error, and then you die. So not great. Can you still win this? Ugh. Could have lost that from my death there. Um. Like if that honor, if that honor gets stuck by the tracer and you die there, you're under no support scenario, and then that potentially loses you, loses you the, the point there. Well, at least the fights. Um, so yeah. So again, some slight rotational issues in terms of kite pathing and cover usage. Watch a bit more. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. So here, I, the normal thing I talk about is rubbing between uh, the three high grounds here because this is open space. So as long as you're able to control here, here, maybe here, if it's like a really messy and devolved fight to the opposite side of the high grounds, that's really important. But yeah, you should pretty much never be playing underneath here. In very rare cases, you'll be playing underneath if you're doing some weird bunker strat in, in a team environment if you're playing Rush. But yeah, like, you really want to be taking control of this sort of area here. That's really important to do. So we'll see how you do here. Same plus your Ash as well. Okay, cover's good. Unfortunate. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even bother lamping that, to be fair. I wouldn't even bother lamping it. The reason being is, again, he's not only is he in power block and not only is he half HP, so he's relatively fine. He's gonna punch out of your lamp. Um, so... It's the same thing that happens with Suzu a lot of the time as well, where here goes with Miss Suzu's because they throw it and then the Doom punches out of it. Um, with Lamp it's even worse because it's a longer CD and it doesn't static. Um, so yeah, not an amazing map. Uh, why do you region bust that? You have an odd region bust. Any reason behind region, region busting that? Um, I was 86 health, and so I know that they were actively shooting at me, but then I'm like, I need to peek so that I can heal my doom, so I'm like, I don't want to die from the burst damage. Sure, I mean, the only thing I'd say to that is, you know your honor's here, your honor's got LOS to you, you've got cover here, if they if they grenade you, uh, so rather, rather I'll put it like this, you can still heal your doom miss while still being in cover, and if they grenade you, then you can pop your you can pop le your left shift or your LB or your L2 whatever button that is. Um, but yeah. yeah, it's funny. Like I don't even know the name of my buttons. I always call it shift. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It. Your honor zooming some mad rotation. Okay, what is she doing? Like right there is where he needs that, right? Like now he needs now now he actually needs it because he's walking. He's looking to go in. You put it on this corner here. You save his life. Probably save your honors too. But that's a really important lamp to do. 
while he's power blocking and half HP, you don't need to land that. And then you lose map control, which is sad. Um, so yeah, slightly unfortunate there. Ideally, yeah, and you just lamp this, your honor actually plays somewhere here or here. And then you and the Sojourn uh, uh, flush out the... Uh, what's the name? The Sojourn. And then you take high gun control here. Um, so that's how this fight should have gone, unfortunately. But yeah. It's a light missing on the CD usage stuff there. This one was relatively okay compared to where your team was. Okay. A hook. Okay, peeking is fine. Cover, cover, cover. Like that needs to be like there needs to be more cover there, right? Like a better surgeon will headshot you there. Um, like there needs to be you need to swing left a lot more there, a lot, a lot quicker. Okay, it's a bit late on the lamp. It's fine though. The principle, the principle is fine. You just you do just got blown up on front line. Oh, cover, cover, cover. I'm just very like ignore your tracer. Like I I ignore your, I'll be very careful about going in here, even with the kill into the surgeon. Mainly because of the hog. If this is good, have to kill the hog. And swing a little bit wide here, right? Like I'm just scared he's gonna turn around and hook you. Um, probably Ash too either. By the way, again, I don't know what Ash is doing. Um, but yeah. He drops. Okay. Nice. Okay. Where should you move to now? There's two places. Um... Either the uh, high ground right next to me on the right, or yeah. go to the room on the high ground to the left of me. Yeah, so like either here, and then you can just burn the hog, or you could swing right and then still hit up your doom, or you can even shoot the hog underneath. You can even, again, this would be one of the rare cases where you actually drop off here, where if you, go, if you play here, you've got cover, you've got an escape up top, because you've got exo boots, you can see the entire points. This would be a place to go, and a place to play, essentially. Okay. Like here, you know, not in front of the hogs, not great, but yeah. Okay. Okay. Fine. Vision Burst is fine, we'll get it back before the fight begins. Yeah, like here, I'm just being like, this is the cover thing, right? Yeah, here's not good. <laughs> yeah, like, that, that's the cover thing. You don't need to be that far up to heal your Doomfist and get a little bit of damage in. That is fighting losing that. Put some lamp. In future, I'm not sure how quick you can do this on console, but just land behind you so you can walk back into it. But fine, you're on console. Okay. Yeah, sometimes I can do Yeah, yeah. And here, then I just yeah, uh, not a great draw. No? Like, I, I don't mind you picking this to, get, to, to take a few shots here, but just do you need to DP pick immediately? Um, After you fire these shots here, like, you need to DP immediately. Slight cover issue there. Well, twice actually. Okay. Yeah, and that, that kind of loses your team that fight, you know? Because if I go back over here and look at where your Ash and Arno are playing, like imagine you window this, your Ash plays here, you burn this person, this person, and this person, you zone the entirety of point. Like that that loses you the fight there. Because you get hooked because you, you get a bit too greedy because you don't play cover well. Um so yeah. Your window is really vital there. And you can lamp to your, your honor who gets hooked. So yeah, bit, bit unfortunate. Okay. Reach, just reach and bust it. Like, yeah, why, why actually, why do you lamp this? Um, I think just because I think he wouldn't get his block off. I didn't know if he would be stunned out of it or not. Hmm, I, I mean... I, I, why why not? Okay, I, I should have phrased it differently. Why not region versus instead of lamping? Um, is your doom realistically going to die to a hook on full HP? On new patch, by the uh, way. Probably not. Probably not, right? So, yeah, he definitely needs healing. I agree with that. He doesn't need lamp. Um, so, yeah. Amplification matrix ready. In fact, he needs a region bus more because the lamp doesn't give him any healing. I hope you don't need it again for the next fights. Or within the next 20 seconds. Oh, what's the issue with this? Pretty big one. Just two big uh, ones. I'm frontlining. I kind of got away with it. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. The, the classic. I got away with this. Um, so, yeah, right, it's timing, right? Because you are ahead of your doom list. Right? So, let this. And yeah, big scary. I have become the tank. 
Exactly, exactly, right? Like, you let your Doom become the big, scary frontline tank guy who the entire enemy team will look at uh, because he's big, scary, red man. Um, but then, you know, then you can actually walk and do your own thing. In fact, if your Doom's competent at the game and gets a CDs off, you don't even need to, to window, to be fair. Um, so yeah, it's actually, the window is not even needed because big, scary Doomfist man will do things or nano. Um, and then it's a timing issue as well because you're going beyond it. Same thing with your Tracer too. In fact, I say it's a positional issue from your Tracer. Your Tracer should be, should be blanking around and then why are you stacking main? Um, but yeah. You get away with it. Rank the moments. Right, like, it, you... I have this saying, um, whenever you stack them in, you take more damage and you, d you deal less of it yourself. Now here, because you got window, you're dealing a fair amount of damage, but you're taking a fuck ton of it too. Because you've almost died, you could have died to Hulk, you've got Ilari on you, which got buffed by the way, you're face tanking into a Bastion with turret form, it's just very sketchy, right? And you haven't got a lamp as well, so there's a good chance that you could have actually died to this. 25 HP, you know, and that almost detonates. I mean, look at your, the big net around your screen. Like, 25 HP, could have certainly died there. Oh my word. Yeah, overall very timing, greedy. very greedy, very greedy. It's not even, it's not even necessarily like a, like, I think greedy's fine. I have, I, like, it's, it's kind of disconnected to Baptiste. But you can play greedy in smart ways. Um, like, it, you can, you can... For example, I mean, it's not a great example here on this map specifically. Um, it's not a great hypothetical, but if, for example, if you could somehow flank around here and then tr window behind them while your team pushes in and do some crazy wacky shit, that's extremely greedy. But it's also really clever because the positioning is a direct pincer. You've got cover here, so you're playing it in a disciplined way, and hopefully you'd be timing it in a good way too because your team would be pushing in. Um, you, you'd be, sorry, windowing fl or flanking behind after your team pushes in. Um, so again, it's a really unrealistic example there. That's why Trace is a better example for it, um, or more aggressive heroes, but you can be greedy in smart ways. It's just that base tanking early end isn't a great way to do it. Like if, the, if for example, like a better example would probably be if the enemy team somehow lived against a Nano Doom Fist with punch uh, or, or empowered punch, if they somehow lift that, then that's fine. You can still greed a window here and then clear out open space and then finish them off. So that's still relatively fine. It's just the way you greed isn't um, ideal, I say. So this is much better. Okay, I say that and then you go back. You go back. Okay, there we go. Better. Yes, like if you li if literally if you and Ash keep the high ground control at the top left, you win the game. Um, I'm slightly worried now because if you had a window, you could actually use it to deter the overclock, but you haven't got that. And the soldiers got a pocket too. So I'm curious to see how this fight is gonna go. The trace is stacking main, beautiful. Okay, your ashes, your ashes does ash things. Okay, sure. Vision burst. Your, lamp, your lamps haven't been great. Why lamp this? What? Your, your lamps, like, why, why lamp this? Uh, just the ash kind of melted. But just, surely you just region burst this, right? Yeah. Um, because you, you've, you are, you've actually now. I, I could understand the lamp. If this person was sliding with overclock with the pockets and this guy was tight forming in, then I could understand it more. Mm. But you've killed the Ash. Yeah. Or the Elder Sojourn rather, right? And it's just a Winston, you know? It's just it's just a Winston. You can outheal that. So you just region burst this and you'll be fine because this person's likely gonna get rezzed. You're gonna need that lamp for the overclock. A little medicine goes a long way. You'll be safe in here. Okay. Monkey's really, really won. I cover a little bit more. I mean, I'm actually shocked that the Bastion doesn't shoot you there, but a little bit more cover there. Region Burst isn't great. Your Ash is full HP. Your Arn is a little bit low, but you can get healed by normal healing pellets. Not a great Region Burst. I will say as well, in, in Brawl Mirrors, so like in, in Lucio Bat Brawl Mirrors, your CDs are extremely important, especially your Region Burst. People think, it's, people think Region Burst is not important, but it's one of the best survival cooldowns in the game and one of the most annoying things for, for the flankers to deal with because you instantly get HP back the second you pop it. It's really, really vital you don't, you don't waste it. And now I'm, I'm, I'm a bit cautious against how the winter's going to dive you here. Yeah, you probably won't get punished for it, right? So the Bastion kills, kills the... But now, right, now you need it because this person's jumping three people, including yourself, 
the soldiers close to you. I don't know what, what is she doing? Um, but yeah, she should actually be here overclocking you guys. That's when you need the healing as well. Um, what's another issue here that you can spot? I'm out in the open. You're out, yeah, exactly, right? You could be doing the exact same thing, i.e. healing these people while being in a much safer position over here, right? Imagine this Sojin actually had some fair competency and overclocked from here or from here. You're cooked, right? You're cooked because you're in open space. And imagine if the Bastion didn't die too. So that's really, really, really important. So you don't get punished for it here. But that's because Jaws Musher and your side piece are not great DPS players. Um, so yeah, you really need a good kite bath against Dive. Good sleep and nade from your honor. And again, look at your honor, right? Like you, you need to have, have region bust there immediately after you um after the monkey dabbed your honor. The CDs are so important against Dive. Okay. Da, 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 da. Okay. What do you think about what you should have started off your positioning with? Uh, I should, should be, be on the high ground by like the building. Exactly right. Like right here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like the, look, look how comfortable this is. Maybe a little bit here because you got a little bit covered here, right? Um, but look how comfortable this is, right? Cover again. I have falls positioning. Cover LOS. You can retreat back into here or back in, back down that direction. And you've got plenty of distance. Like, their fucking Sombra is not touching you any time of the day. Right? And you've got plenty of distance from this angle too. If someone comes here, fine. You just de-peak that. You're, you're chilling. So, yeah, that needs to be here. This is, an, again, this is what I call a mid rotation. Because instead of rotating from here to here, you rotate from here to open space on points. Which isn't great. Yeah. It makes your mechanics harder. It makes you have more danger. Right, like, you're, again, whenever you stack main, you deal less damage and you take more of it yourself. Right? If you're on high ground here, this Moira doesn't damage you. Um, so yeah. I mean, lamps, lamps, whatever. I mean, your chase was critical there. But again, I would just rather normal healing pellets than lamping that. Region burst was okay. Yeah, and you got you guys to clean that, clean that out pretty, pretty decisively. Okay, so, unfortunately we didn't see much or too much of the... And we saw a little bit of dive, and when we did see it, it wasn't really that competent. But the main things I did see were, was the layering. Yeah, really yeah, yeah, like it, 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 I mean, in comp, you're not going to really be going against like amazing dive heroes or dive teams, especially on console, especially in EU, and especially in Diamond and Masters. Like that's a tall order. Um, but again, the main thing is that that I was seeing was the layering. Uh, I'll say layering of CDs. So when I mean layering, I mean you use one thing first, and then when that first thing depletes then you pop another thing uh, stacking would be the opposite stacking is when you just pop things at the same time um but you ideally want to layer your region burst first um it depends on the aggression right so i'll say um according to aggression or according to aggro um use rb first or second because in reality like in an actual dive when you get dove by Sombra or Tracer or like an actual coordinated dive, I don't mind you lamping first because that's reasonable. When you're, jump when, when you're being jumped by a single monkey who really isn't going to be that aggressive to you because he's, he's just a monkey, who does 75 DPS nowadays, um, then you just need to use region burst, right? So according to how much aggression you're taking, that depends on the CD that, that, CD that you're going to be using. Um, and that just... Does that's what my... Burst? Yeah, go on, go on. Uh, does regen burst go through uh, Winston's bubble? I don't know. That'd be a good question. So, it yes and no is, is is the answer. So when you're in it, so say the bubble the bubble is here, and we'll use blue actually, and then U B and A. So that's U here back, and then say A for on or Ash. If you press shift here then your owner will get it, even if she moves outside the bubble, and even if you move outside the bubble, right? So she will still get it, no matter what. But if you are here, outside the bubble, and you press shift, she will not get the healing. So your honor, you and your honor, or whoever you're healing in region burst, need to have direct LOS before you pop it, right? Then, as soon as you popped it when you guys have got LOS, then you can move out of it. You can do whatever you want. Right? Your honor could get primaled all the way to fucking her spawn and she will still get region burst. 
Um, so it's just that initial line of sight check when you when you press the button. That's all that matters. Um, so yeah, because yeah, bubble. Yeah, that's that's how, that's how that works. Same thing with LOS, by the way. So like, if you know if you're back on or here, you press shift and then your on or ash move out of LOS and decide to go here. They'll still get region burst. Um, that's how that's how that ability works for reference. Um, but yeah. Okay, so that's the first thing: the loading of CDs. Um, I'll say also. Um, layering to aggro, and then also just generally using um lamp um based off aggro because there was a lamp that you used onto a doom vest was power blocking. There's been multiple lamps here, so first fight as well where the doom vest was half HP and using power blocks, so you didn't need lamp. Um, and also over here, when the Doomfist was during the Winston and didn't need lamp, or during the, the Hog rather, and didn't need lamp, he actually needed region burst instead. That is, that, that would be according to aggression there, in terms of like, when you'd be using region burst or when you'd be using lamp. So that's really key. Second thing is, uh, I'll say mid fight positioning. Mid I'll say mid fight and free fight actually, I'll couple the, both of them together. Uh... Because there was a moment both on both points where you kind of strayed, your pathing wasn't great on pre-fight, and then you obviously your mid-fight positioning too. Mid positioning, and then I'll just say underneath that my my four rules. Like obviously here, when you got caught off by the hog, over here, you're not playing distance, right? You're not onto your ash as well. You kind of fed there, and then that you gave them percentage that that could have. Potentially lost this, uh, lost this point here on Samoa. Um, so again, the four walls cover LOS, retreat or kite back path, and distance. Uh, particularly distance from threats or distance from angles, distance from flankers, whatever you want to call it. Um, have enough distance so you're able to react and kite back. Uh, that's what that distance is important. Um, but those are the four walls there. And then third thing, um, I mean, mechanics seem okay. Um, Rotations are they're okay for now. I'll say that I, even though I haven't seen this yet, I'll say this for future reference. Um, window usage, and this is actually really important against dive um, or maps like Dorado or high, really high ground based maps. So think yeah you know, again Dorado, Gibraltar, Hollywood maps that Baptiste actually can really struggle in because people play dive against that on those maps. Um, typically, you want to be using, like, using EXO to jump up to high grounds, uh, to high, flush an angle, then you window, um, and then hopefully you, you'll be able to clear some space from that. Um, I'll mention my spar framework too, because it's against dive, so this is the, the I made a video on this, um, on how to play, how to beat dive or something like that, and this is the four step framework. The S bit can go for now, um, but the P is prevents... A is absorb and then the R is rotates. Your window is used in the prevent or the rotate stages. It is almost never used in the absorb stage. Um, hopefully, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go too much in depth on explaining that framework for for, for now. Um, but essentially, what what that means is you use your window before they dive, or you use your window after you've survived their dive. That's all that basically means. Um, that's how you use window against dive. Uh, but yeah, any questions? Um, hmm. Not that I can think of right now. Alright, no worries, yeah. Um, so that's it for the VOD. I'll stop recording now, and then you can just...